Hi, this is Rich. Welcome to my blog. Aguila and I are going to talk about entities. We discovered some new things about, you know, that little whisper thought in your head. Aguila, what, what would you, what would you like to <laughs> share today about this entity stuff? We just did a session a few minutes ago and wow, learned some neat stuff. Yeah. Uh, so to go to the beginning so people would know the context and what, what happened. Uh, basically, I wanted to get back to making videos because it's been like oh, more than a week when I haven't done any videos. And I'm thinking about what would others like to see and I'm like, well, I have like over 50 questions asking me about the entities, so I'm going to talk about that. But look at my videos and there's like over 50 videos where I do talk about entities and I got it into dual thing where I feel like I have too many videos about entities, but I need to make more videos about entities because there's so much more than need to tell people. And so Rich and I, we had this session and it was amazing when we started getting into the entities and how they work and I like, you know, got rid of the clusters inside of my body and around me and started looking like who's there messing with me and I'm starting to see these entities. Uh, best would be to describe what it looks if, if I was to show like images and stuff, but do you remember me talking about it? Like it's, it's a humanoid, yeah, know. like, you know, like, a, what was it? <laughs> I mean, humanoid flea looking, kind of a humanoid flea looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. It's like, a, yeah. it was uh, like human emerged, but it also had like a little, like a shell. Like I've seen those in the fallout, but it was like, you know, they have these like claws and stuff. And it was like more of a humanoid with that shell and like, you know, just ugly looking and it was unpleasant. But I'm like, I'm like seeing like, what do they do? How do they work? And I'm just like observing them. And what I find out is that those entities, um, I call them the whisperers because that's what they do. Like, you know, they hang around the people and they create all kinds of thoughts and basically transfer it to you. And like, you know, just telepathically they send you all kinds of thoughts. And so you might be having any kind of conversation and all of a sudden you have a thought and if you say it, you say something that wasn't your own. And all of a sudden your words turn into what they wanted you just to say and your conversation goes down and it's just a mess up. But at the same time, like they can mess up your thinking, your thoughts and feelings and just really shift you from your focus so that you would be like distracted and on something else. Like, like we call them, or I call them the whisperers because they're like constantly whispering to what you should say, what you should think. And it's like, it's a thing. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, while we were doing the session, <clears throat> Avila said, Hey, let me look. And she pulled up this fallout, the, the video game fallout, uh, the different creatures in there. And there's one that looks like a flea with these, big things and uh, she said it looks kind of like this but without the big claws and it's got a kind of a did you say kind of a humanoid shape to it a little bit yeah yeah I mean like uh, no claws or nothing like you know in, in the video game it, it, it does have claws and stuff uh, over there like the end I saw it was like humanoid but also had this like shellish uh, thing behind and also like you know like scaly skin and different things like you know it, it's not natural at all like it's weird. Yeah. So says, gee, I got to get back into drawing because I could draw these. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I really want to get back to it because I, I've see, I see all kinds of entities out there. Like, you know, reptilians are, are pretty you known. Like we have uh, like photos of them or like, you know, drawings or like or whatever. Uh, Grays and Arcturians, like Pleiadians, we have like types, but all kinds of I see and like there's like thousands and millions that you know the different ones like I would love to just capture it and just like at least a sketch and just like hey that's what it looks like and so that people get yeah. an idea because we could just like map them out you know track them and give them names or something yeah what we've been learning is like creepy very advanced entity phenomena that just don't people don't really talk about it very much but it's yeah been known for many many well, I first learned about it years ago uh, they're like nano particle sized entities and that was like 40 50 years ago 1970s 80s but nowadays we have nano particles and nanobots as a technology on earth well just imagine for a second if an advanced extraterrestrial race of beings had nanotechnology nanobots i mean they're like microscopic so when you see these their entities some of them are going to be 
artificial intelligence and some of them are going to have some life essence in them but nano sized advanced technology extraterrestrial manipulating our thoughts and feelings to make us think and believe and feel certain ways to downgrade humanity over they'll take as long as they didn't do they need a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand years to make humanity their slave race if it's no problem for them they're very advanced long long term long range long range planning and so what we're discovering with this the sessions i'm i'm given agvila sessions i'm using the techniques and that i've learned over the years and then she just happens to have this incredibly powerful visual ability to see this stuff and a great deal of confront she can look these entities in the freaking face and stand up to them and her abilities and power in these non-physical realms is ginormous and uh, uh, she commands a lot of respect when she gets over there doing that sort of stuff. And we're just learning things that uh, nobody's talking about. I mean, I think there are people know about this and they may be sharing it here and there, but it's, uh, it's overwhelming, it's, it's creepy. But her, Agvila and I want to present it to you in a way that you can sort of wrap your head around it a little bit. So these microscopic little, uh, I could, I've been dealing with them and getting rid of them in big chunks, you know, like a thousand at a time, because they're nanoparticles. They're like, you know, you can have a 10,000 of them and it's, it's a lesson in, in a space like this. It's just a little tiny space, you know? So I never really thought about what they look like. So Agvila's looking one in the fucking eyes, man. <laughs> and, and, oh, this is what it looks like. Is that right? It was a little nano, a little bitty, is that what you're oh i mean the nano like entities and like all the body pieces and stuff like i i find them inside my body like you know like so they're like microscopic so you can't even notice them uh the yeah. whispers the like other entities like they were around us like you know, just like the big ones like you know like um your size maybe <laughs> like it's, it's super big pretty tall oh 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 fuck i i had my two stories <laughs> fucked up <laughs> i thought you were talking about the nano particle when you're talking about the big ones that to walk around uh, in, in the non-physical realm around us. Yes, yeah. Because like, usually when Rich and I would do sessions, I before I go any further, I look inwards. I, I look, uh, are there any entities inside me uh, that can affect my thoughts, my feeling states, my actions, so they're just around me, just like magnets and attracting different things, working, like collecting information, sending it out to their clouds, to their AI. First I scan my body and I get rid of those, and then I look for around myself and like, that's where I'm starting to see like, Hey, there are some in my room and I back out and there's like a lot of, uh, a lot of them around people, just everyday people. And so like, you know, that's who they are. That's how they work. And as we, Rich and I, we started get, going deeper into, into who controls them, who commands them. And I just like asked the, like that whisperer of the entity, like, you know, who's your boss? Like who's commanding you? And I, I, you know, I get the communication, like to, Telepathically, I don't. He he doesn't talk. He just like send me thoughts, and I get it. And basically, I pick up on where they are. I teleport, and it's a mix, mixture between reptilian and a fish. Kind of like you know a skilled reptilian, looking like bluish, but also having those fins and like like on arms and just like different things, like like a some something between a fish and reptilian. It's like a, a mixture, but it's like it's like descendant of reptilians or whatever, just like you know connection or some DNA mix or whatever. And like I'm looking into their intentions, how do they work, and basically they use all kinds of entities to mess with us and our thoughts, so that they can distract us, they can affect our thoughts, creating all kinds of situations that would like uh, backfire on us. Like they cause arguments between people, and all of a sudden your relationship gets messed up, or you lose your job because you've said something, and like all kinds of situations where they're gonna hurt you in one way or another. And what happens after that is that, you know, their bigger macro plan is basically dumb down humanity, get them degraded so that they could affect our thoughts, control us really easily and just have their entities shift into us and like we pick on them and we think it's us. And if they can take over the control and have us reincarnating all over again and getting downgraded even more, they're, they're winning, you know, so that's their bigger plan. Wow, yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> it reminds me of uh, <clears throat> their uh, their agenda is to um, turn this earth plane, this right here where we are, into what we imagine hell is. We hear stories about hell. It's all volcanoes and fire and brimstone and torture and pain and misery for the human being forever, right? Eternal hell. And their, their king is Satan or Lucifer, something like that, right? Yeah, pretty much. So it's like, this is what their agenda is for real, you know, and it's, it's like what hell is now in our imagination is, um, well, what we are now here is hell 100, 200,000 years in the making. Like we're like backtracking and I'm trying to fucking this up. Here. It's like, if this is hell, right? And it's all that red fire and devil and everybody, yeah, hell me, all that stuff. Uh, 200,000, 500,000 million years earlier is this physical earth entities sneaking around, creeping around, fucking with us. And they're trying to get us to create this world and believe in this world in that kind of misery. And we're not going to let it happen. We're going to expose this. That's what we're doing. That's why we're sharing this stuff. Uh, it's yeah. our understanding of, this, of the phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, like that's the whole reason why we picked up on the session because, like, I was between uh, feeling like I make too many videos about entities and like there's not enough, and like uh, eventually I realized that you know, even though I talk a lot about them, there's still not enough because it's really important for those who are really messed with entities, for those who are aware of it, uh, <clears throat> they have a hard case, and I think like they they need help. And we have tremendous power as beings. And just being aware of who's messing with us will scare them away. If, if they mm. know that you know about them, they'll be scared to mess with you in certain ways because now you can't pick up on their patterns. Now you know what they do. They're like, oh, I have to find another way because that's not you working anymore. And, like, and they back off, you know, like they start looking for something else and it'll take that for them. So I think like yeah. it's important. And this whole, another thing like you mentioned, like, you know, Earth being the hell and stuff. It explains why, you know, Satan is such a big thing, like Lucifer, you know, like, the whole, like uh, all the word thing and stuff, like the way it's being thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they've already, they've told us in religions uh, what their agenda is and where they're trying to go with all this. They would love this physical world to be that terrible. Yeah. Uh, they keep downgrading us, uh, getting us more uh, programmed and limiting in our beliefs spirit and getting us to reincarnate keep coming back and they're also manipulating the dna uh and uh trying to uh, uh suppress us with our environment uh electromagnetic field radiation um uh, chemtrails fluoride in the water there's all kinds of things to downgrade us so that in spirit we can't use these bodies and move in and out of them. Like we can't go out of body easily. We should be able to move in and out of these bodies and we should have our full memory engaged to remember our past lives, who and what we were before we came here. And they're, they're really working hard to block all of that so they can just keep us reincarnating and using us, the spirit energy that we are, our life energy for power. For energy, it's loose. They suck it off, off of us and drain us of it in all kinds of ways. And it's a real thing. It's really going on. And it's going on multidimensionally. And there's incorporeal, non-physical beings that are doing this. And some of them are extraterrestrial ET alien races who have the ability to shift into other dimensional planes back and forth and play us in that way. Well, others, they're not ETs so much as just non-physical entities from some dark realm somewhere. But yeah, it's a thing. There's just all kinds of these, these harsh entities trying to take away our, uh, our, our freedoms and our ability to evolve spiritually and in consciousness. So, 
Yeah, I mean, like, which is why we do these sessions just to find out who are they, how do they work, and what can we do to like, get them out of our system. And like for me, just having the awareness of the whole situation like really helps us out because now we have an understanding and them knowing uh, that we know about how they work, like it scares them away and they stop messing with you. Like they will be more careful when they try to get some fun in your head and like try to mess with you because they know that now you can pick it up. You're aware of it. It like scares them off and they don't mess with you that much. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whose thought is this? You know, yeah. uh, is, is a simple question you can ask as you scan, you know, if you feel like you're having thoughts or feelings. Uh, the way they do with feelings is they will, they will get you to think a thought or you'll think a thought and then they'll add to it, blend right in. So you think one thought and then you're thinking another, well, well, whatever. Uh, and uh, that second part of that thought wasn't you, but you think it is. Now the second part is gonna trigger your shit and you're gonna go, oh, and you're gonna get scared or worried or frustrated, upset, irritated, pissed off or mad or depressed. Did I miss any? I mean, maybe. That's perfect. <laughs> So one of those, and now you're feeling the feeling, and you're, you're, uh, and now they can enhance that feeling. They can't get you to feel it so much as enhance it. I, I misspoke. They can get you to feel certain feelings too, but uh, if you feel the feeling, they can enhance it and expand upon it, intensify it, copy it, duplicate it, you know. So now you're stuck with some bad thoughts and strong feelings that it's very hard for you to shake. You can't shake it off easily because when a human being tries to process those thoughts and feelings, they go, what was I thinking? What was, what was I doing? Why do I feel this way? You know, what, what did I do to cause myself to feel this way? It's not you doing it. It's like somebody every night coming and doing some stupid little thing to your car one thing or another is not working the next day and you fix it every day, your lighter, your light, your headlight, your blinker, a flat tire, it, it runs rough. It's just the, this gear shifts. Every day you fix it and you go, you know, what's going on here? If you realize it's not the car that's fucking up, it's somebody sneaking in every night and doing it to your car you need to go find the being, the entity that is doing it to your vehicle instead of fixing the vehicle or trying to fix the vehicle every day. That's, that was that for, was it okay for a metaphor? Perfect. I like it. I mean, it's like, you know, people have short-term solutions. They're going to eat, they're going to drink, they're going to fuck, they're going to do whatever to make themselves happy at a certain time, but they don't look around, they don't get the real issue which is why we get fucked over again and again and again. And if we find the root of it all, we can fix that. And all of a sudden, you're free of that. You know, you're free of the negativity, and you can go on with your life and just go for your dreams and do whatever you like. Yeah. Which reminds me, I wanted to ask you. Sure. Um, what are some of the uh, the wins or results that you've gotten since we've been doing this kind of entity work? Uh, I think we've been doing for like two months now, or like two months, I think. Uh, a lot. It's just hard to name, but I think like mainly we're now working on the communication. So for me, like I'm a fast talker because okay, I get worried around it, in front of the camera and uh, I mispronounce things. English is my second language, so I have all these issues that I think of, and like it's it, I think it gets in the way. But I'm like I'm just calming down. I just like don't have to hurry that much. Uh, also, like being in control of myself, which is a big one for everyone. Just controlling yourself as a person. Like entities might bait you. Entities might drop fast at you and stuff you are the one that picks it up and uses it. So for me, like, just being aware of it and be, being in control, not taking the bait, being in control of myself and controlling my thoughts and my actions, like, it's, it's really helping. Because so lately, I was pretty much winning in life. I wasn't that much of, a, of an effect, like, of entities messing with me. Cause I, I, like, I'm aware of how they mess with me, so, like, being in, in control, like, stops it all. So like it's really helpful in that regard. I feel like you know, in, in every aspect of life it's just things are getting better. And like uh the last few weeks my life is great. <laughs> in every level. Oh good, good. What about you? Like, you know, you've been mainly giving me sessions, but still like are you getting anything out of it? Yeah, the big one for me is uh <clears throat> um Agvila mentioned uh 
as she's doing these sessions, they're baiting us. They're giving us the bait. And do we? And we take the bait. You know, we they give us a thought, and then we we follow up on the thought. The what if? Oh, well, what if? Ah, and you go, oh, you took the bait. Or uh, for me, uh, I would see things on TV about politics or something, and uh, you know, I'll start to get really upset, and I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm taking the bait here, you know, it, it, am I going to take the bait? No. So I'm more able to see that I'm being baited or I'm being suckered into going off in a direction with a thought or a feeling. Because I'll think something and I'll feel a feeling. Uh, I get angry and pissed pretty easy. Uh, and I go, whoa, 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 whoa. I, and instead of thinking it's just me and the way I am, being overly sensitive and touchy, I can now see it as there are entities in my space trying to get me to react. And knowing it's somebody else fucking with me, I'm, I have more uh, motivation or passion for saying, no, not going there. If I just think it's my own emotion and reaction to something I hear in the nose, in the news, uh, and I go, uh, and I feel like it's me, I'm okay. But if I go like, uh, and then I get over the top, I get really upset. Or what really happens is I'll start to get upset and say something, and somebody else will say something about me and my emotion, and then I'll turn on them. I'll get mad at them. And I go, oh, man, I really took the bait. I really went, they got me. Uh, so now I'm more... Uh, I can see more clearly that this isn't me messing with me. So knowing that it's something other than myself, it's not a cop out. Like I'm not being responsible. It's more like, you know, just knowing the source of this. And I guess, like, okay, where's this coming from? I'm not sure who, but I definitely know how. And I can defuse my own emotional response more quickly, whether it's worry or fear anger, uh, irritation, or depression, or any of these, uh, I'm more able to um, handle them and stop them from going, getting out of control. And then it'll usually dissipate in about, you know, just a few minutes instead of carrying on for 10, 15 minutes or half a day or something. Yeah. I mean, That's it's a of, big thing. I mean, like, we could continue this, this whole conversation, but it's probably going to be, like, you know, too much of a video because people have the short and span, but... Is, we could do another separate video on like baiting and how it works and how is that and all. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Speaking of short attention spans, we could do another video about short attention spans. <laughs> we can hop from subject to subject to subject. <laughs> and it'll be real easy. We can prove this yeah. attention span theory. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Well, yeah. Well, okay, good place for a wrap? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Hey, thank you guys for watching our stuff. Uh, we're going to upload this video on my channel and Ogvila's channel. There'll be links below. And uh, thanks for watching. And your comments are really welcome. We like your feedback on this stuff. And if anybody's seen one of these uh, entities that look kind of like a human insectoid flea freaking thing, <laughs> uh, yeah, let us know. Curious. Okay.